The US Army defines an assault rifle as short, compact, selective fire weapons that fire a cartridge intermediate in power between submachine gun and rifle cartridges. There's obviously a lot more to this stuff than that, but we are not here for a lesson on gun history and what actually defines a category, but instead to rank all the guns in a video game called Payday 2. Hello all and welcome back to another Payday 2 ranking video where I take certain aspects of Payday 2 and rank them from worst to best. Previous videos include worst to best heists, shotguns, music, perks, skills, DLC, melee weapons, heisters, XP, money, contractors and loot. All of which are linked in the playlist in the description below of this video. If you like these kind of videos please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. So we already looked at the shotguns in Payday 2. The next most requested was assault rifles. This is probably the weapon type most players flock to at the beginning of their Payday 2 career. However, as we know, there are good ones and bad ones. Today, we will look how these rank against each other. Did you know that there are currently 26 assault rifles in Payday 2? Holy shit. So glad that that's out of the way. Now let's briefly talk about the list and how I approached it. We know that Payday 2 deals with the strength of weapons on a very linear level, and by that I mean if it does more damage, it achieves less ammo pickup. There is no clearer evidence than this within this class of weapons. While ammo pickup is not as severely important on lower difficulties, seen as enemies take less damage and therefore less bullets to kill, on the higher difficulties the difference in ammo pickup can actually render some weapons barely usable, if you're inaccurate and requires a solid secondary with good ammo pickup to bolster the lesser primary. There are many dated lists of ammo pickups for weapons in Payday 2, but I decided to take the time and test each and every assault rifle to get its average ammo pickup per box. I did this using no skills, but the perk deck 6th card in all of them, Walking Closet, was active, meaning the 135% ammo pickup was in effect. I then took every assault rifle and noted the pickup on 10 ammo boxes in succession and took the average of that 10. A very simple average, but worth doing as the numbers I came across are very different from the ones I read about. One note with this is that there's most definitely a range and your results could vary as it seems very, very random. For example, some weapon pickups were anywhere between 10 to 18 bullets per pack and everything in between. So obviously stringing together a bunch of either end of that scale vastly would change your average. What I did find was that there are four clear groups within the 26 assault rifles. The top tier between 11 and 14 ammo pickup per box, then between 7 and 9, 4 and 5, and then the lowest were in the twos. Almost 50% of all the assault rifles sit within the lowest two ammo pickup sections, but to combat their lesser ability for ammo, they can all one-shot headshot heavy swats with a critical hit on death sentence, meaning you are rewarded by your higher accuracy and therefore less ammo needed, but this is for sure a fine balance. The keen eye amongst you will also notice the correlation between the damage within the same groups. The top group being the lowest with damage ranging from 41 to 44, the next set between 52 and 58, and then 94 to 99, and finally the DMR low ammo pickup section all at 160. The ranges between these subsets are very narrow, and when you break them down even further, that's when you see the different rates of fire stability, accuracy and concealment, etc. This makes for a very interesting task when ranking weapons. There are other factors to consider also, like skills that highly affect the efficiency of weapons increasing damage through the overkill, berserker and critical hit skills. Also ammo skills like scavenger and fully loaded can also help bring up some weapons weaknesses. Finally, there are weapon mods, which are extremely varied and although they don't do much to damage except for the DMR mods, you can greatly increase concealment stability and accuracy through them. So with all that in mind, how about we get into this damn list? The MCAR. This assault rifle may be one of the first ones you actually use in Payday 2. Sadly, it has the slowest fire rate in the entire class and one of the lowest damage stats, and you can feel it. It does have some pretty impressive stability statistics and a decent ammo pickup rate, but its low accuracy put this at the bottom of this group of rifles. As standard, you will require six straight headshots to take down a heavy SWAT, and with its low accuracy and fire rate, good luck. The bootleg. This was close to being the worst assault rifle for me. It sits with the lowest damage assault rifles and in fact has the lowest base damage of all assault rifles. It also has the lowest base accuracy of all assault rifles at only 24. For similar weapons, it also has a very low stability but does have its saving grace of an ammo pickup of slightly over 11 ammo per box picked up and the 100 round mag is by far the largest of any assault rifle. This means your real time damage per second, which would include reload time, would be high here over the course of unloading all 100 shots without reload. 7 headshots to kill a heavy swap with this one is a little bit too much. The next group of weapons start and end in the mid to high damage section, ranging from 94 to 99 base damage, and all share a similar ammo pickup of between 4.4 and 5.3. 
This collection of seven rifles will three shot headshot a heavy SWAT on death sentence, and if you land a crit headshot, they're a one shot kill. The AK 762. Starting with the AK-762, this weapon not only shares a very similar name to the Golden AK-762, but also a few of its stats. This one has the lowest fire rate within this mini class of only 561, low accuracy and a low stability. DMR kits are available for these to buff the damage to 160, but the drop in ammo pickup of up to 75% you will get too. The Golden AK like I said before, this golden brother of the regular is pretty much identical in all statistics, landing slightly higher as it just looks fancy. The only stat difference is the lower base concealment by two. The AMR-16 This assault rifle shares the lowest base stability of any assault rifle and has the lowest accuracy within its ammo pickup range and damage class. It does redeem itself slightly with the third highest rate of fire within all assault rifles, but being so inaccurate and stable, you better make sure those bullets land as the ammo pickup may leave you high and dry. The Falcon the cool sounding Bird of Prey rifle is only a slight step up from the previous, offering a decent jump in accuracy and stability, but lowering base concealment and rate of fire. Also a slight different variation of how ammo is set up, 20 in the mag and 100 total compared to 30 in the mag and 90 total in the previous. The go where? This hard to pronounce correctly rifle is next, offering higher base accuracy, base stability and concealment over the previous rifle. Other stats are very similar, including damage, ammo size, pickup and rate of fire. The Eagle Heavy Another bird related moniker and also very similar stats to the Falcon. Other than the DMRs, this rifle carries the highest base accuracy and follows suit with mag size, stability and rate of fire within its subset of higher damage and low ammo pickup rifles. The AK-17 This AK is the most consistent across this little section. A slightly higher ammo mag size and total, its higher base stability and accuracy make it a solid choice when choosing out of this subsection of assault rifles. The Gallant Nothing like the ping of a reload, but sadly not enough to drag this one into the top tier ranks. This World War II weapon suffers from ammo pickup issues and shares many stats from the others in this category, including damage, ammo pickup, accuracy and stability. You do get the highest total ammo in the high damage category of rifles and this can be further improved via the mag pouch stock adding 11 more bullets. This one definitely does look good and you have to give the nostalgia and sound its cool points. Its slow rate of fire makes its killing time slow if you're not accurate, but you do get a two shot headshot on heavies, a one shot if it's a crit, and a medic can be taken out in three standard headshots or one crit. The little friend. Say hello to him because he's here. This cheeky fella transcended the DMRs and low ammo pickup boys purely based on its dual purpose functionality. Having an underbarrel grenade launcher ready to go is a definite plus. This used to be my favourite weapon for quite some time for those exact reasons, but it got slashed with ammo pickup. I tested it to get just over 2 ammo per box picked up and averaged only 0.2 per box for the grenade launcher. The little friend itself is a high damage DMR meaning a 2 shot headshot kill on heavy swats and 1 if landed a crit. However concealment is an issue with this one. The stability, accuracy and fire rate also have a lot to be desired. The Commando 553 the Commando 553 with solid stability and decent fire rate, 30 in the mag, 240 total, you will need critical hits on this to make it viable, but its high concealment allows this without much problem. It's going to take 6 headshots to drop a heavy SWAT on death sentence and with crits it will take 2. During my test this rifle landed at the top of the pile for ammo pickup, averaging 14.6 ammo per box picked up. The JP36 the JP36 is the Commando, just with slightly higher accuracy and stability. Also very similar in fire rate, ammo amounts and ammo pickup. The Car 4 The Car 4 has a slow fire rate issue, the stat that actually dropped the AM car to the bottom of the list. This one sits in a higher damage class, requiring only 5 headshots to kill a heavy SWAT, or 2 critical hit headshots. Stability can reach into the 90s with mods, but you'll struggle to get the accuracy high without sacrificing stability in the process. This one is also highly concealable with mods if crits are your thing, and they should be with this rifle. The Cavity 9mm This foldable beauty was interesting when it was first introduced with the Golden Grin DLC. Its high damage was welcomed and the animation was very different to what was standard. Some years later, and I'll be honest, the animation is now a pain in the ass. In particular when in stealth as it delays the time to operate a pager if you have to answer one. The base mag is one of the highest available here at 33 which is a plus, but the ammo pickup again is where this hurts the most. 
Tested at 2.5 per ammo box picked up, this weapon is highly concealable and high damage. It has the highest base concealment in its class, making it a good use for stealth if you want something long range, and also shares the highest damage at 160. You can enjoy two shot headshot kills on heavies, one if it's a crit. I also feel like the recoil is a little wild on this one. The M308. Recently updated to put this back in the ranks of usability, the M308 was banished for many years and I'm glad to see it back. This weapon sits in the highest damage class, coupled with the lowest ammo pickup, but the pickup rewards accuracy. Just under 3 ammo per box picked up, and now the ability to conceal this weapon with the Fugitive Pack DLC and its plus 19 concealment boost make this a force to be reckoned with. Once modded, you will not recognise how this gun looks. Switching this weapon to auto mode can shred, but don't shoot more bullets than you need to. Utilising a solid secondary with this one can create an ultimate combo of destruction. Next, we will take five of the rifles out of the medium low damage, medium high ammo pickup section. For reference, these five all share five headshot kills, heavy swats, and just two with crits. The AK. The standard sound in AK has the slowest fire rate of this bunch and the lowest accuracy but decent stability. The UAR. The equally standard sound in UAR has higher accuracy but much lower stability. The Queen's Wrath. A cool sounding name stealing the stability stat from the AK and the accuracy stat from the UAR makes this more even across the board. The Jekko. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. This lizard gun increases in fire rate, can easily reach 100 stability, but has slightly lower accuracy. The Lion's Raw. Arguably the best name for any assault rifle. We get the second highest fire rate of all assault rifles and the ability to mod to a very high stability and accuracy with this one. The Clarion. The Clarion leaps above its similar low damage, low accuracy brothers purely based on its fire rate. By far the highest fire rate in this class, this thing goes off. Also being super concealable and 100 stability achievable, firing this fast with crits at Dozer's face melts them in no time. Sure, you may miss a few shots due to some heavy recoil, but its solid ammo pickup rate of over 13 ammo per box picked up is more than enough to keep you stocked. Some don't like how this weapon looks with its high back and crappy iron sights, but after a while you get used to it. Also, beware, the reload is awful. The Tempest. This rifle shares the name of a Shakespearean novel, and that has nothing at all to do with this weapon. Also sharing similar stats to two other weapons in the top four, it has 30 in the mag, 150 total ammo. Better than average fire rate at 800, and consistent accuracy and stability of 60 and 52 respectively as a base. Easily modded into the 80s and 90s. Ammo pickup of over 7 and 5 headshots to kill. The Valkyria. This rifle splits the top section with its own brand of awesome. Coming silenced out of the box, this single shooter has the second highest fire rate, one of the highest ammo pickup rates, second highest base concealment and super high accuracy achievable through weapon mods and skills. Stability suffers somewhat and heavy swats will be a two shot headshot critical kill. The AK-5. Now for the top two. The last AK on the list, here we have such a solid weapon. Slightly lower fire rate than desired, but it does everything else really well. Solid accuracy and stability, easily reaching 100 accuracy, and into the 90s with stability with the right mods and skills. Here we're looking at two shot headshot critical kills on heavy swats, but high concealment available with a solid ammo pick of over 7. You'll also have a lot of fun with this one, especially with the speed pull mag. The Uni on 556. The Union 556 Assault Rifle shares many traits as the AK before it, but it just does it slightly better. It has the third highest fire rate in the class, 100 accuracy is easy to achieve, and is followed up with 100 stability that can also be reached. Also highly concealable, achieving crits through the low blow skill is no problem at all. Again, a great ammo pickup of over 9 ammo per box, and a super fast reload with the speed pull mag if equipped. Throw on crits and you'll be mowing down dozers in no time. Sadly, the Union isn't available on consoles at this time due to the Reservoir Dog DLC not being released on there. Not sure quite why, but I don't see why they just can't add that. So that's it, that rounds out the Assault Rifles ranked from worst to best. Make sure you let me know what your favourite is and why in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.